The Tesla Model 3 has established itself as New Zealand's favourite electric car on the strength of its space, style, affordability and most importantly its driving range. But this car could challenge that position. It's the all new Polestar 2, the first fully electric vehicle from Volvo's dedicated EV brand. Available in three model variants, prices start at $69,900 for the entry level standard range single motor with a 69 kilowatt hour battery pack. Or for an extra nine grand, you can choose the long range dual motor with a larger 78 kilowatt hour battery. Both models are eligible for the maximum $8,625 rebate under the New Zealand government's clean car discount scheme, which makes them exceptional value for money. Or if you want the full Monty and you're prepared to forego the discount, then you can fork out $93,900 for this, the range topping long range dual motor version, which as it suggests, has the bigger battery, but also a twin motor configuration. Both single motor variants produce 170 kilowatts of power and 330 newton meters of torque from the front mounted motor and can accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 7.4 seconds. The entry level model has a driving range of 470 kilometers on a full battery and can be recharged up to 130 kilowatts, taking around 35 minutes to replenish from 10 to 80%. The bigger battery pack in the long range variant increases the driving range to 540 k's on a single charge and can handle charging rates up to 155 kilowatts, but it takes the same time to refill. The dual motor configuration in this range topper almost doubles those performance outputs to 300 kilowatts and 600 newton meters, which subsequently drops its ability to sprint from 0 to 100 k's to just 4.7 seconds but the extra grunt does take away some of that energy and its driving range is reduced to just 480 kilometers. Even still, that's probably more than you'll need for the average weekly commute to work and back. All three models come equipped with a generous list of standard equipment, including dual zone climate control, vegan interior trim, and an eight speaker 250 watt premium sound system. Interestingly, the Polestar 2 is the first vehicle to have a fully integrated Android Auto operating system for all of its digital information. That means both the 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster and the 11 inch central tablet work together and feature all the functionality of your mobile phone. For starters, just like your phone, it has an inbuilt Google Assistant, which understands a heap of voice commands to control different functions in the car, from the climate control to navigating to a new destination, playing music, reading messages off your phone, and it can even do this. Hey Google, find me the nearest charging station. It also uses Google Maps as the native navigation platform, which always ensures the data is up to date. And the map information can be displayed on the central tablet, in the instrument cluster, or both. On top of all that, you can access the Google Play Store to directly download apps such as Spotify, Tune in radio and others. Now our particular test car has a number of optional extras, which Polestar conveniently tie together in a number of packages. First of all, it has the plus pack that brings a full length sunroof, premium hardened card in the audio system, classy weave tech interior trim with black ash panels and heated front and rear seats, steering wheel and windscreen wiper nozzles. It also has a heat pump, which reduces the energy consumption, particularly in cold weather climates. Then there's the pilot pack, which adds assisted driving features on top of the comprehensive suite of safety functions, including adaptive cruise control, a 360 degree camera, blind spot monitoring with steering assist, rear collision warning, and cross traffic alerts with brake support. And for driving enthusiasts, as it is here, the dual motor can also be fitted with the performance pack that adds these lightweight forged alloy 20 inch wheels with Continental Sport Contact tires, gold four piston front Brembo brake calipers and adjustable Olin's dual flow valve suspension dampers. So what does all that mean when it comes to the driving experience? Well, let's find out. Um, before we get going, there seems to be something critical missing. I've got a, a proximity key, which obviously opens the doors and things, but I can't find a starter button. Instead, this car is really, really smart. It knows once you're in, you're ready to go. All you gotta do is buckle up, flick it into drive, and we're off. Well, 
Well, like all EVs, this is uh, pretty silent and seamless when on the move, and it certainly has a lot of get up and go when you get stuck into the accelerator. But it does take some time to become familiar with driving with only one pedal. You see, the Polestar can produce up to 100 kilowatts in regenerative braking power when decelerating. So when you lift off the gas, it literally slows down using the electric motors rather than the brakes themselves. What that does is gives you free fuel, but it also means you don't need to use that traditional brake pedal unless you're in an emergency situation. Otherwise, it's a very, very pleasant car to drive. The seating position is nice, the steering wheel is in a good position. You've got plenty of space up the front here and a huge amount of space in the rear. The only gripe I really have is that letterbox of a rear window limits your rear vision and particularly when it's raining because it doesn't have a windscreen wiper. It also handles really, really well. The steering is nicely weighted, particularly for an electric car, which can sometimes feel a bit aloof and digital. This one doesn't. It also corners really, really well, thanks to that low center of gravity. And the performance pack upgrades, well, they make it surprisingly fun to drive. In town, it's a little bit stiff on the suspension at the moment, but because it's adjustable, I can wind it back and make it comfortable over some of these pockmarked roads. And then on a twisty mountain stretch, you can simply tighten them up before you go out and it eliminates all of that body roll and this car is surprisingly fun to drive. At the end of the day, this car thoroughly lives up to that Polestar brand name. It is a genuine guiding light for electric vehicles. And in my opinion, it's an even more convincing beacon than the Tesla Model 3. If you're interested in the transition to electric vehicles, Contact SG Fleet and Lease Plan today for more information.